Try to go left first. See, maybe there's something. I need a weapon. That's a No double jump. Let's squeeze through. supposed to go.
Oh my god, this is pointless. Pick it up. open the door now. Or only one. Let's see where it leads you. I need to drop this. Straight to the switch. <laughs> One more left. How am I supposed to go up? Uh... 
I see what you connect. How am I supposed to go there? Through what? The last button is all the way up. How? Now I missed some. Mm -mm. That's all there is. <laughs> What am I missing? How to go up? Freaking hell. to draw No, that ain't the one. <laughs> That's the one. Go up. What are you doing, Pessor? Yeah, I see. What are you doing?
What's new? What do you mean World War 3 start? Really? I need a weapon. I need a fucking weapon. Weapon. Best now. Squeeze. Can I pass? Can I cheat? Uh -uh. One, two, three, I die. Need some other way. There one. job.
the door. I came from there. What the fuck am I doing, man? <sighs> Need this quiz through. Unreal. Gente sequestrou. How come you can't squeeze through with a weapon in your mouth? I need a weapon for this. Need to find a way for a weapon. That's a problem. Pessor, thanks for 14 months, Pessor. Once I see the, the release date for Baldur's Gate 3, I'll replay both Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. Probably a month or two before Baldur's Gate 3 is out. And I'll probably play with Mats, yeah.
I'm supposed to drag a weapon here. I'm about to drag a weapon. For this. Where am I supposed to drag a weapon? It's squeeze through, squeeze through. And a squeeze through three times. You can shoot. Shoot you, moron. Try to make him shoot instead of dragging a whip. I don't know how to drag a weapon. Everything is for squeezing through. You can't carry a weapon and squeeze through at the same time. It's just impossible. Tell me it worked. Come on. It, it had to work. I see a hit. Nice. <laughs> Can't believe it freaking worked. The best. Nice. That disabled a passage here. I hope I won't need a weapon up there. Now what now? Oh, nice. I got it. Final switch. And I need to reach the door. Where the fuck is it? Jump, jump, jump. Fine. What is this shit for? What are you for? I don't see a point. This is the final map, I think. AI command station. Both of them. Nice. Nice. Got double 
jump deal. I'm low on health though. What is this? The poison. It's fucking poison. Seven K euros for teeth. Do if you have a car, don't buy another car. Because you know everything went to shit. Don't waste money. If you came to do those teeth in my country. It will cost you 10 times less. Just so you know. Plus the trip, let's say it will cost you around 1500 tops. You overpaid. Be there if I at least knew the scale of the map. Same fucking normal how big it is. It is the final map for sure. Betrayers did not communicate among themselves. Each sought their own way to correct past mistakes, which was why they failed. There are 30 generators in the station's other three wings. If destroyed, the shield around the core will disintegrate, making it vulnerable to a decisive blow. However, the energy released by Aris surrounds the station on all sides. This creates the chance to merge it with the AI and restore the Keeper. At the end of each of the station's wings are sealed gates through which a risk can get here. The time has come to make a decision. Destroy the AI or merge it with a risk and restore the Keeper. There isn't a third option. T 
two ways to defeat the AI. Use your senses to find the gates or the generators. Destroy 30 generators to destroy the AI and Eris. Unseal three gates to let Eris in, combine her with the AI and restore the Keeper. The AI core. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Are these the generators or what? AI core. Jesus Christ. Uh, uh. What have I done? Then I came from here. I came from here. What the fuck is happening? doesn't work, it's a zero out of three. It doesn't even let me go out. Is it bugged?
Fucked. That 30 generators, I need to find all 30 to destroy the AI. The AI, under the guise of a robot of the same type as Bobby, is trying to influence B and breed uncertainty. And uncertainty must now be shed at all costs. Basically, there's two different endings. Oh, when will I find 30 generators? These are only four. Wish that I can see the entire map, but I can't. Like, come on! How can you die from that?
9 out of 30 oh! Holy fuck Don't even know what I opened Save. <laughs> Rodrigo.
The cold halls of the station are soon warmed by the smell of melting integrated circuits. Robots fall with the clatter and break apart, and memories of crossing the junkyard suddenly flood B's mind. Is it really best to resolve this situation by force? For real. Okay, we here in my country, we got a lot of people that are working abroad. The Australia, Germany, Austria, Canada, and so on. And they all come here when they want to visit dentist, plastic surgeon, and similar shit. Because it's way much cheaper and it's the best doctors in the world, basically. What is this? What is this? What is this? get it I really really don't get it now what am I supposed to do I guess there's the gate to open it up but I disabled power that's what it is the other ending basically I wish that I can see a full map, but I can't. It's so freaking hard to play without a map. Where's the way out? Should be this. B tries to ignore the content displayed on the screen, which is simply an attempt to sow doubt and slow progress. Oh, 
I open this? Ay, come on. I don't get it. What this? I really don't get it.
when the shit is closed. Should be four left. In this area, thirteen in total. It is not the time to ponder this while the oppressor still lives. It must stop. The AI will not remain after the merging, which would be like undue mercy shown to a criminal. Timed with what? On what? Holy, holy shit. It doesn't even show, okay, to zoom out so I can actually see what's happening. I don't have a clue, man, what's happening when I press that. What opened? Probably some of these doors here. Fuck it. 
bino anymore. What opened? That's all closed. What? On fucking earth. Switches for that. And this one is for what? How can I know? Oh my. the way up. Found one.
I'll oh, even pass through this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die in an instant. Three left. Twenty seven out of thirty. When will I fight them now? Everything is locked. the worst part I can't zoom out where is that last one only one There's the way out. I am one.
Forbid this door. Could easily be that door. Need to figure out how to open this. What do you open? Ah, that's the elevator. Okay. I need to find a way up there. to pray that it's not time I really don't get it. I know that I'm supposed to open this one. If I want to proceed, I need to open that door. But I don't know how. Just bullshit. And this shit opened.
<laughs> There's the last one. That's the last one in the bottom. I know what it is. But I need to open this. I don't know how. There you go. I think it's this one. That should be the way. Or not. Wait, wait, wait. Nice and easy. There is no way back, so that's... Death elevator rolls. Now I need to find a way up. Oh. This is the worst part of the game. <laughs> I can't jump. Return to the command station core and destroy it. Sure, how? Nice. Final countdown. The AI and Aris are forever extinguished. From now on, everyone rules their own destiny, unfettered by the power of the former gods. B just wants to go home, 
she flees the station without looking back before the systems are shut down for good. B is not the only one who must flee. All invaders relying on the power of the great entities now lose their weapons and escape route. If they don't make it back to the portals, they will face the wrath of those they attempted to subjugate. B gets to the moon and directs her gaze not at the fading station, but at Earth. Because every journey leads home. B realizes that if she wants to return to Earth, she must leave behind those who brought her back here. She looks in their direction, as if this choice is more difficult than deciding the fate of the world. Should she return to Earth if it means parting ways with Rose and Bobby, or stay with them and forever devote herself to adventuring in space, never to return to the friend who gave her the teddy bear? Now you can go left and right, third small, or on the moon. Return to Earth. Explore space. Go oh, back to Earth. Dogs are not for space. The little robot flies away and disappears into the lonely vacuum of space without being seen by any humans. Everyone treats the dog as a mere stray. Among them, however, is a boy for whom B is more than that. She's a friend. And what can I say about the game? Short, sweet, cute little game about the dog. Same as Stray. We're gonna do a review for it. Let's do a review for it. Just to take a piss. Be right back fast. And then we're gonna do it.
Wait, pause is 5 hours, eh? 18 out of 24 achievements unlocked. Space is my home, that's a different ending. Restore the Keeper, different ending. All journal, entries, maximum health points, maximum shield level, unlock costumes. Okay. I can easily say I've seen it all. Um, what was the name of the game? Every journey leads home. Okay, um, Space Tale, Every Journey Leads Home, review. It's a small, cute game, it's most similar to Stray, only this time you get to play as a, as a dog, dog in space. I gave Stray a very low score, because I thought it was brain dead, this game is... Not so different, perhaps it's slightly better than Stray. Okay. Stray was full 3D, third person camera. This one is a platformer. Puzzle platformer, basically. A lot of puzzles in the game. So, the story is about a dog that's cast into space and he's trying to return home by traveling on different planets throughout the galaxy and making new friends and enemies along the way. Cute, silly story. Good narration, though. I like the narration. It's done very well. Um, I don't know, it doesn't stink, it doesn't smell well. 5 out of 10, I guess. There are multiple endings also. 3, 4 multiple endings. That's about it. Game bugs and optimization. I encountered one game-breaking bug. But basically the game is clean. With that game-breaking bug, I had to restart the entire level. Because I got stuck. No glitches. Basically no bugs. Aside from that one huge bug. The game works extremely well. It ain't system demanding. The loading screens are fast. 9 out of 10. Game time. It said it took me six hours, it took five hours, because I was making pauses and so on, so, so this is a very short game, five hours game for 16.79. Nah. -uh. This game ain't worth more than five bucks. Simple as that, because the price is 16, nearly 17 bucks for a five hours puzzle platformer I just can't give it more than 4 out of 10 if it was 5 bucks I would give it 6 7 out of 10 for game time if it was 5 bucks it's freaking 17 for 5 hours basically 5 hours of doing nothing even puzzles are simple game difficulty the difficulty there is minor amount of combat which sucks ai is close to being brain dead not aggressive enough you also resolve enemies by barking at them that doesn't count as difficulty there are puzzles there were around 10 15 puzzles in the game and let's say like two were solid the rest of the puzzles are 
elementary school level, okay? Extremely casual game. I guess women and children will like the game a lot, considering there's a dog now, and in a stray we had a cat. Now we got, during this 2022, both cat and dog game at the same time. One is a cyberpunk cat, the other one is a sci-fi dog. Um, as far as difficulty goes, you can play it blindfolded with one hand, man. It, it just... it ain't good. Maps and graphics. I'll start with with graphics, and then I'll... Although, I'll start with maps. Let's start with maps. Um, this would be all maps in a game. And you can tell how many different environments, planets, colors, call it how you like there is. Solid map variety for a short game. This is a five hours long game. This is a solid map variety. There is no mini map. UI is very simplistic because it's a simple game. As far as graphics go, I love it. It looks great. For a 2D platformer, backgrounds, how the entire game feels like, how it looks like, I like it. I really like it for a 2D platformer. I can't say it's not, it's above mediocre. Okay, it ain't anything special, it's above mediocre. I'm gonna give it 6 out of 10. Gameplay. So it's a puzzle platformer where you get to play it's a dog. Gameplay consists out of dodging traps, poison, and enemy projectiles. You can also speak with them, growl at them, jump, uh, communicate basically with different uh, space species, animals, and so on. You can make them angry or you can make them on your side. Depends how well you act as a dog. That's uh, one type of gameplay in the game. The other one is, of course, classic double jump, timed puzzles, press the switch, run, avoid traps. And at the end, there's always a puzzle where you rotate different stuff with telekinesis, with, with shooting stuff and so on. Out of five hours long game, gameplay is like 90% of it, 10% is cutscenes and narration. Uh, I don't know, it, it doesn't do anything innovative, okay? It's a game to play for one Sunday afternoon. It is smooth, gameplay is smooth, controls are great, on a gamepad also it plays well. But I, I can say the same for gameplay. It doesn't stink, it doesn't smell well. 5 out of 10. Leveling and itemization. Holy fuck, look at this. It's non existent. No experience, no leveling, no sense of progression, nothing. The only item that you can find along the way is a spear where you get to pop some plants. So you can pass. That's the only item in the game. And a teddy bear to resolve a puzzle. There is this thing in the inventory, health and shield. And stress. They do nothing. Like, like they exist. Just so they can have something in a user interface. And there is a gallery peculiar things you find along the way during your galaxy travel. They're just bad. I can't even call it simplified. If I was like two years old, I could easily play the game. One out of ten. As I said, you the game for women and children. That's how I see it. NPCs and enemies. 
Um, there are NPCs. Some alien species. Main character is, of course, a stray dog named B. I can't say the dog has a lot of character in it, because it doesn't. Same as with Stray, although maybe Stray, that cat, had a bit more character than this dog, but basically they're on the same level. Done wrong and done bad. As far as enemies go, for 5 hours, enemy variety, a few monster species, few boss fights where you get your run from them, you, you don't fight them actually. Solid enemy variety for 5 hours on 7-8 different planets with a brain-dead AI. This... This segment also sucks. It sucks ass. I done 2 out of 10. Let's say it below mediocre. 4 out of 10. Music and sound. I did not hear a single tune in the game. Everything is some atmospheric crap. Forgettable. Even, even the main theme is non-existent in the game. Sound effects are solid. Especially with a uh, dog barking and so on. The things you can do basically with a dog, this shit. Okay. That's. That's done well. And those will be sound effects. Wind howling and so on. Okay, then it's solid sound effects. I can say. So, basically, no music, solid sound effects, great narration. There is narration before every mission and after every mission. With a lot of cutscenes. Great narration. The entire game is basically voice acting, which is a huge plus. Huge plus. Seven out of ten. Four points. Four point eight out of ten. I guess these devs that that's their first game. Okay. Yeah, bad if it's the first game of the developers. I believe the game is overpriced as fuck. Okay. Amija, thanks for the sub. I really believe it's overpriced. 17 bucks for 5 hours long game is freaking crazy, especially for this quality. Non-existent quality. Below mediocre. Copycat of Stray as a 2D platformer. I can't say uh, how Stray is also good. I rated Stray even worse. This might be a slightly better game than Stray. And that's about it. 20. When it's worth it, once you have one free Sunday afternoon, and when you find it for like three, four bucks, then it's worth playing. Mediocre, slightly below mediocre puzzle platformer where you get to play as a dog in space. That will be Space Tale. Every journey leads home. A quick review. Nothing else to say about it. Right, it's nearly 2 a.m. 
Guys, I'm done for today. Tomorrow is, I think Callista Protocol is coming out tomorrow. And we're gonna play Callista Protocol tomorrow. So, next stream, the new horror survival. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have no clue. All in all, I wish you all good night and thanks for watching. See you back soon.